Welcome once again. Today we revise mathematics primary 5 and we focus on adding and subtracting integers. From P4, you have learned what is an integer, negative and positive numbers. You have also learned how to put them on a number line. You learned also the way of comparing the integers. When you are given positive and negative integers, when you are given positive and positive, how can you compare them? So today we want to go far away from that. You are going to add and subtract integers. You are going to use a number line or we leave the number line and then we add or subtract normally. Before we go on, let's look at the objective of that lesson. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to add integers with or without using a number line. And then you subtract integers with or without using a number line. There are four tips that we are going to use. You read them. And then we will be using them throughout this lesson. That is why I want, I don't want to focus on them because we will be just looking at them throughout this lesson by adding and subtracting integers. Let's have number one addition of integers and uh, we are going to add integers using a number line when you are given integers to add you stand at the first integer and then you move to the right by exact number of the second integer here i'm saying we move to the right generally because we have positive but you may have also a case in which you can move to the left depending on the type of integer we, which was given. Let's look at these examples. Minus 7 plus plus 5 and plus 3 plus minus 4. Here we have a number line and when you are making a number line make sure you choose the same scale. On that number line we fill with integers negative and the positive integers. Stand at minus 7 and you move 5 steps to the right, where do you stop? We are moving 5 steps to the right because you have plus 5. We are standing at minus 7 because it is the first integer. You stand at the first integer and then you move the number of steps according to the second integer. When the second integer is positive, as you may see it here, plus 5 you move to the right you stand at seven, minus 7 you move 5 steps to the right where do you stop? ok you see that you stop at minus 2 so from where you stop is the answer you stand at minus 7 then you move 5 steps to the right from where you stop, you get the answer from there. Therefore, minus 7 plus plus 5 is equal to minus 2. Let's look at the second example. Here you have plus 3 plus minus 4. Because the second integer is negative, we move to the left. On the first case, we have moved to the right because 5 was positive. Here we shall move to the left because 4 is negative. As usual, when the second integer is negative, you move to the left. Here we have the number line. And on that number line, we stand at plus 3, the first integer. And then because 4 is negative, we are going to move 4 steps to the left. So where do you stop? Let's move. 1, 2, 3, 4. You stop at minus 1. So what is the answer? What is plus 3 plus minus 4? Can you tell the answer? Good. So the answer is minus 1. Plus 3 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 1. <coughs> Let's now look at adding integers 
without using a number line. Minus 3 plus minus 4. Here we are having integers of the same signs. When adding numbers with the same sign, add and write the sign of the larger number. What is the larger number here? Of course, it is minus 4. So, minus 4 is the larger number. 4 is the larger number. So, the sign of 4 will be the signs of the answer. Minus 3 plus 4. We say that we add. Here we have added 3 by 4. And then you write the sign of the larger number. The larger number was 4. So the sign of 4 is minus. So 3 plus 4 is 7. And then the sign of the larger number is minus. Minus 3 plus minus 4 is minus 7. Plus 3 plus plus 4. Here the signs are the same. We are having plus. We add and write the answer or write the sign of the larger number. The larger number is 4. Plus 3 plus plus 4 is equal to plus 3 plus 4. And then the answer is plus 7 or positive 7. Here, when we are adding, we consider the signs. Take minus or negative as a date. And when, when you pay that date, you remain with no date, of course. So, but when you add dates, as you are adding minus 3, minus, uh, plus minus 4, we are, you are having three dates. For example, three, one and francs. You are adding also another date of four. So we shall have a date of seven. So minus is a date. But when you have plus three, it means you have three francs on your pocket. And then you add other four. We are having plus seven. Let's have another example. Minus three plus plus four. Here the signs are different. Minus 3 and plus 4. Negative 3 and positive 4. How do we, how do we add integers of the different signs? When adding numbers with different signs, subtract and write the sign of the larger number. You see here that 4 is the larger number. 3 is the smaller number. So because the signs are different, we are going to subtract. We take 4 minus 3, and then the answer we get, we write the signs of the larger number. That is what you have here, 4 minus 3. Here, this plus is the sign of the larger number, which is 4. And then the answer will be having plus as the sign, and 1 as 4 minus 3. Plus 3 plus minus 4. The signs are always different. And then what do we do? We subtract and then we write the sign of the larger number. 4 minus 3 is 1, of course. And then the sign of the larger number is minus. The larger number is 4. And then its sign is minus. It's the same sign that the answer will be having. So, as conclusion here, when adding numbers with the same sign, add and write the sign of the larger number. When subtracting, when adding the numbers of different sign, subtract and write the sign of the larger number. Do you get it? Okay. So, let's have practice now you can make a pause to this video and then you try these eight questions the first series is adding numbers using a number line the second one you add without using a number line do them do it
do this uh, practice activity okay after finishing compare your answers to what the teacher has written here they are expected the answers so you compare your answers to what is here thank you so let's now have subtraction of integers we start subtraction of integers using a number line to subtract integers stand at the first integer and then move to the left by exact number of the second integer we are moving to the left because we have negative we are subtracting we may move also to the right depending on the kind of the integer that you were given but in general we move to the left because we are subtracting example one two and three the first one is minus one minus plus five we are subtracting a negative and a positive uh, with we are subtracting a negative and a positive integers so what do we do now we have a number line on a number line we put integers as usual and then we are having minus one of course you have to stand at minus one and then you move five steps to the left but here we are moving to the left because we are subtracting and remember we are having the signs here we are having minus and plus normally when minus is followed by plus the sign becomes negative so that is here we have minus one minus five we move to the left because we are subtracting we move five steps two three four five where do you stop okay you are stopping at minus six so minus six is the answer you move five steps to the left and then from where you stop is the answer therefore minus one minus plus five is equal to minus six or negative six you can do it the same way you have done the first one you have minus eight minus plus three this minus is followed by plus so the sign becomes what becomes minus so here you have minus eight minus three we move to the left we stand at minus eight and then you move to the left side so where do you stop you stop at minus 11. so minus 8 minus plus 3 is equal to minus 11. it is the same to the third example plus 7 minus plus 3 minus plus becomes minus so here you have plus 7 you stand at 7 and then you move three steps to the left side that is what we have so the answer is plus four because you stop at plus four so what do we do here generally when we are subtracting integers using a number line you stand at the first integer and then you move the number of steps depending on the the quantity of the second integer and remember that as i've shown it uh, shown it here when minus is followed with plus the sign becomes minus let's now subtract without using integer without using a number line sorry when subtract integers with the same sign remove the brackets first and follow this law what is that law to remove brackets plus followed with minus becomes minus minus for the plus becomes minus minus followed with minus becomes plus and plus for the plus becomes plus can you get it here so generally when the signs are the same when the signs are the same we get plus positive when you have plus followed with plus 
minus with minus we have plus but when the signs are different plus and minus minus and plus the result is always minus when the signs are the same it is plus or positive when the signs are different it is negative or minus this is the rule that we are going to follow when removing the brackets and then after removing the brackets you start now adding or subtracting uh, we start subtracting sorry when subtracting integers of different signs subtract and write the sign of the larger number but remember we do this after removing the brackets let's have an example minus seven minus minus three remember what you have done there before here we are having the signs which are the same plus minus and minus becomes what okay they become plus because you have the same sign so here we shall have minus seven plus three so minus seven plus three the signs are different and then here we say when you are subtracting the signs of the the, the integers of the different signs we subtract and write the sign of the larger number what is the larger number here okay the larger number is seven so the sign of seven is minus so this minus will be also the sign of the answer that is here we have minus four we take seven minus three it is four and then write the uh, the sign of the larger number when subtract integers of the same sign add and write the sign of the larger number we are having the same signs plus plus minus minus are the same signs let's have an example minus three minus plus four as you remember minus is followed with plus so minus and plus they become minus so that is why here we say that we are subtracting the integers of the same sign because this minus and plus will change into minus so there we get minus three minus seven as we said there before when subtracting integers of the same sign now you see that they become the same sign we add and write the sign of the larger number we take this one as a date we are having a date of three we add another date of four we will be have we'll be having now the date of seven so minus three minus four will be minus seven we add and write the sign of the larger number here we have practice as usual you try these questions and then you compare the answers to what the teacher has found out you take a pause and then you try this activity so that you may compare them to what the teacher has found out mm -hmm. thank you very much try it quickly So what are now the expected answers? You compare your answers to what the teacher has found out here down. I, are your answers the same as these ones? Thank you very much. You've done a great work. So after completing this lesson, after watching this video carefully, you will try these questions. The first series is adding and subtracting using a number line. On the second one, you are going to add and subtract without using the number line. But remember to discuss the steps. You have to show all steps. You remove the brackets and then you start working out after removing the brackets. Remember, to send your answers to the teacher or you show them to your parents for the constructive feedback thank you very much but remember to subscribe you like and share this content to other parents or other learners thank you very much be blessed